Hello. Today, in this video, I want to accomplish three things uh, regarding getting started with the Badger plugin within Canvas. The first thing will be joining an issuer that you have been invited to. You should all receive invites to join an issuer soon at your Canvas email. If you don't, please let me know. Second will be creating your first badge and the third will be rewarding a badge for completion of a module. <clears throat> so first of all, I'm going to accept an invite to an issuer and click View Invitation. And that's going to take me to badger.com. It's going to ask me to create an account if I don't have one already. Just go ahead and do that. As a teacher, you're going to require a badger.com account at some point in this process. You can see here some badges that I have been experimenting with. You should automatically be joined to the issuer once you create your account. You can see badges that all the other teachers working on this project have created. And you can also create your own badge. I'm going to do that now. <clears throat> if you have graphic design skills or have an image from the internet that you would like to upload, you can do that here. Or you can just design an image using their badge designer right here. Show all to view the different shapes of badges. I'm going to select this shield badge. And maybe I want it to have a thumbs up instead of a coat hanger. I'm going to start typing thumb. There we go. Thumbs up. And you can further customize the badge if you want to change the color, or the borders, the size of the icon within the badge. You can do that all here and proceed. The name of the badge is going to be Thumbs Up Badge. Short description, student does well, for example. Earning criteria, maybe get a little bit more specific here. Student scores 80 to 100% on a module quiz or test. And create the badge. Taking a moment. Now this badge will appear to you and all of the teachers who are a part of this badge issuing authority. And you can see it here. So that is step two, you have created your first badge. Step three will be rewarding the badge for completion of a module. To do that, you're going to want to navigate to your <clears throat> to your Badges tab within your Canvas, wherever that may be in your menu, probably at the bottom. And you can see all the different modules for your course whenever it loads. Yes, I can see the different modules, and I can choose to reward any of the badges from my issuer. I can filter by name when we start to get a lot of badges, and I suspect we will. The only criterion for receiving this badge is that the module is completed. That's the only criterion supported by Badger at this point. Uh, not percentages, just completion of a module. Now that I've said module one should be rewarded with a thumbs up badge when the module is complete, I need to now specify what it means to complete a module. So to do that, I'm going to navigate to modules within my menu. 
and as soon as it loads here, I am going to go ahead and first add the badge to the course module. And to do that, I'm going to click this plus button at the top of the module. And instead of adding an assignment, I'm going to add an external tool, not an external URL, an external tool. And I'm going to click Badger United States, or whatever it might be called, not Badger Pathways, though. Badger United States. Take a moment to load. All right, leave the URL the same, but you can rename the page, whatever you want. For example, collect your unit one badge. You can choose if you want to indent it or not. Add item. And as always, be sure to publish your item. I still need to specify what it means to complete the module and earn that badge. So I'm going to click on the three dots now at the top of the module, edit, and I'm going to add some requirements. Uh, for this module, I'm just going to make it a requirement that the student views all assignments and all pages within the module. You can make it just view an item, or for assignments, you can say mark is done, submit an assignment, or you can keep a student stuck in a module until they reach a certain score on a test or quiz. For pages, you have some other options. Contribute to a page. Uh, this could be an example of if you're using a wiki or a forum of some kind, the student would have to make a contribution. And then update module. All right. Everything should be in place. I'll show you one more feature. You can also make it so the student must submit evidence that they have completed an assignment. Uh, this will be in the form of a URL, which they must submit, and you must verify before the student will receive the badge. To do that, you would just select this Evidence Required for Completion radio button. I'm not going to select that right now. But if you had the student go to a different site or record a YouTube video, for example, they could submit that URL here, and you could view that under the Badges menu item again within progress and you could verify that the student has earned the badge. I'm going to navigate to my home and I'm going to look at the student view and show you the beginnings of what this would look like for a student. A moment to load. Load. All right. I'm now under the student view, and all I must do is complete all items by viewing them before I collect my unit badge. I'm going to click main menu. Uh, interact with this Captivate assignment. And then number two, maybe I can take, do some reading, watch a YouTube link, whatever is part of your module. Right now the student just has to view all three pages and then they will be able to navigate to claim their badge at the last page of the module. Obnoxiously, Badger does not let you see the badge rewarded under the student preview. 
not until the course is published and uh, the students are real and enrolled in the course. As far as I can tell, I've been experimenting with all day and I haven't seen anything else, but what the student would see is this spinning for a moment, checking for new badges, and then they would see the badge actually rewarded to them. And there you've done it. You've joined an issuer, you've created your first badge, and you've rewarded it to the student.